your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thanks for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're beginning a study today on understanding temptation. We're still in the book of James, and we're going to be looking at James chapter 1, beginning at verse 13. Now, I told you early on in this study of James, we're not going to cover every verse, but when we do uh, cover certain sections, we're going to try to be in-depth enough to have a good understanding of not only what the context says, but to understand the greater context of the Bible. Let's begin in verse number 13. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Now, there's a couple of questions that are demanding to be asked as we look at this particular text. And one of the things that I want us to look at today, tomorrow we're going to look at another big one, and that is the idea that God cannot be tempted. But I want us to look at the idea today that God's not in the business of tempting other people. Now, this is important. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 9 says that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now, I want you to get that. That's a beautiful concept. God wants everyone to be saved. That doesn't mean that everyone's going to be saved, but that's His ultimate desire. Now, there's a horrible doctrine out there that's followed by many religious people. As a matter of fact, I hate to say this, but the vast majority of religious folks that, that call themselves Christians they follow a doctrine that says, no, God's not interested in everyone being saved. As a matter of fact, there's a particular group that He is predestined to be lost. But that's not true. Someone says, well, what about Abraham back in Genesis 22? Didn't God tempt him? And that's the language used in the King James Version. The New King James uses the word tested. And that's the idea behind it. It wasn't that God wanted Abraham to fail. There's tests for a couple of reasons. One, test, if you remember from the beginning of the book of James, tests make us stronger, but also sometimes things are tested to prove that they can withstand the pressures. If an engineer designs a bridge and then puts it under certain test, and it, he doesn't want the bridge to fail. But when it passes the test, the engineer says, I told you, it could withstand the pressures. God's the same way with you and with I. He wants us to stand up, and He has confidence in His children. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.